Greetings, Earthlings. Um, I come to you from another planet, playing a very weird build that is well known to our kind in our solar system. It's called the Immortal Sorceress. You guys have heard of this one before. I just wanted to show a little bit of it. I wanted to try it out, you know. I made this character a while ago and was just kind of playing around with it again today. I hadn't got to Larzik yet in hell with this character, so I was thinking, I'm kind of close-ish. I just beat Act 4, and I wanted to go back and try to see if I could complete uh, the Radiment. Radiment? Radiment? I don't know how to say it. That quest. You know, the one that you get the skill. Anyway, um, here it is, though. She looks pretty cool. Um, I got some pretty interesting gear, I'd say. Um, you kind of need interesting gear to make this even work at all. Um, it's not completely optimized with the mercenary. The mercenary could be a lot better, but he's got an insight, F cryptic axe, he's prayer, G face, and I, I just have a tal rashes on him. Um, so he's got some extra magic damage reduced and some resistances, little magic find. You know, he's got a bunch of magic find, actually. Um, his cryptic axe did roll plus four to critical strike, so plus four to critical strike and then 15% deadly strike from the G phase. So he can do some okay damage, actually. Um, his attack frames aren't the best, though. So anyway, he could be a lot better, obviously. Uh, but I wasn't going to just pull together everything I could yet. Um, but on this character, though, I kind of went with something very slow-moving, uh, just looking, looking to be very, very tanky, you know? And uh, I wanted to make use of just standing there, so I went with um, Firewall. 20 points into that, 20 points into Warmth, and I'm leveling Fire Mastery. Uh, I've got 10 into Energy Shield, 20 into Telekinesis, and 1 into Static Field. Those are my points. Uh, basically, I teleport to reposition uh, me and the Mercenary. I'll uh, stand there and take damage while I just while people sta stand in my firewall. Anyway, um, I, I also have some pretty cool gear over here I just want to show off. So, first of all, we have a wi wizard spike. Uh, the cast rate, the extra mana, the increased maximum mana, the regenerate mana, and the all res 75. You'll notice that our res is capped 75, 75, 75, and 75. Uh, we have as much mana as we can get, basically. Um, and uh, I did, I'm saving those points because I think I needed a few strength if I wanted to switch out something. Yeah, this, five strength here. I'm gonna put five into this. There we go, yeah. That way I can switch out this little, this large charm later. Um, and uh, so I have the wizard spike, you know. Um, on swap, I do have a plus five to firewall with 47 mana, but we lose a bunch of res when I do that, so. I keep this on in the off and the uh, shield slot Gurkey's Sanctuary. 30% increased chance of blocking. Replenish life plus 15. All res 27, uh, which is variable. And then damage reduced by 12 and magic damage reduced by 18, which those are variable as well. As you can see on the, on the swap, I have another one. Different rolls. Anyway, the amulet is a uh, 56 to mana damage reduced, damage reduced by 24. It's flat damage. Um, I guess I'll just show that now. Look at our damage reduced. It's damage reduced by 70, and magic damage reduced by 47. I don't have any percent reduction for physical. Uh, I did try some of that, but with our mana being so high and our energy shield, we're fine. Uh, the helmet is a 1 to sorcerer's skill levels, damage reduced by 34. So, a Angel's Tiara of Life Everlasting, and it got two sockets at Larzik. So I put in two soul runes. This is a rare piece of gear. Uh, a loathe suit bone weave. This was kind of cool. 10% faster hit recovery. It came with two sockets. It did yet have 18 fire resist. And it had poison length reduced by 75%. There are other options, I think, here, obviously. Like, you could do probably, like, um... Natalia's armor because it has three sockets in it and I think that has poison length reduced by 75 so that would might be a better option to get the poison length off 
Uh, poison goes through your energy shield. So if you can get the length reduced by 75 and have a decent amount of replenish life, which we have 25, and you're, you're looking pretty good, actually. So I put in two perfect skulls in there from more mana regen and some replenish life. Dwarf Star on the left, Dwarf Star on the right. Fire Absorb, Magic Damage Reduced, 40 life on each. Uh, the middle, I got the, the middle uh, piece here, the belt. More Vitality, uh, Increase Maximum Mana, and Regenerate Mana. These are just very high rolled um, rare boots. Cold re Resist and Lightning Resist are 40. Uh, Lightning Resist 39, sorry. Let me get some Gold Find on there. Mage Fist for more mana and a Fire Skill. So, um... Yeah, that's everything. The charms are just pretty much mana and res. So I got mana, uh, 58. 53 mana with 16 life. More mana with strength. Poison res, dexterity, mana life, mana. Yeah, these are like all high rolls, see? 58 to mana, 58 to mana, 56 to mana. Life and mana, uh, 33 life, 26 mana. 16 mana with strength, 57 mana dex, 17 mana, 17 mana. Uh, hit recovery with cold res, 17, 19, Annie, all res 4, dex and poison, all res 3, strength and mana, all res 8, and 4 strength and all res 5. So yeah, lots of mana. Um, don't have a CTA on this character. That would probably send it over the edge in terms of its survivability, uh, but I just kind of want to go without it. So I like to see if I can do builds without those kind of things sometimes. This area can be a little bit of an issue for us because there can be fire immunes in here. Let me just recast energy shield. But you'll see. Um, I'm just going to stand here and like I don't even get hurt. The mercenary's insight and prayer does help too. If he goes down, we're kind of in trouble on some things. But watch, I'll just stand here and just let him attack now. I would like to play around with this character a little bit with the skill allocation and stuff. Like I said, I just, my first inclination was like, I never really make a firewall character, you know? So I just kind of wanted to try to make use of that. So like, I know this is very slow moving. Um, that's okay. I just, it's the kind of the point. Um, and it's kind of fun to play this way. I imagine that like a hardcore character, like person would appreciate a build like this where you just cannot die. You know, um, and it's or it's very difficult to at least. The, like I said, the mercenary could be a lot better. He doesn't even have any life leech like right now. I actually think though that my damage, like my damage reduction and absorb and everything, is good enough, and my mana is high enough. I think it's all good enough to the point where I don't even think I would need a prayer insight mercenary. So I think I could do something entirely different, um, which would be very fun. Uh, if I could get a, a much better mercenary, I think that would make this build pretty worthwhile, you know? Um, and I think that would make it uh, a little bit cooler to showcase. But so anyway, this is just my first iteration of it, and I just wanted to show a little bit of it. Like I said, we're trying to get to Raidiment. Oh, man. The mercenary's kind of getting hit. Here, let's go back, and then I'll try to walk up. See if they'll focus on me. See this? We'll heal Emilio there. There we go. Firewall this guy. Yeah, so see how that kind of worked out? I, um... I tried to aggro them for my mercenary. Yeah, and th I know this is very slow moving. That's like I said, this is kind of the point. All right, we're just trying to see how incredibly tanky we can be. Okay, pretty good. Here we are, we're the tank. We're just gonna sit up here. So I'm just going to stand up here and aggro them while the mercenary starts attacking. Healing. Got to heal Emilio there. So 
So, yeah, like I said, I, I need to optimize the mercenary, I think, would be the first order of business. That would definitely make this build better. I wouldn't have to give him potions and stuff then. Here we go. I'll just aggro these guys while he takes care of them. Not bad, right? So, I'm going to recast Energy Shield because I want to make sure that's up. Yeah, I I was kind of underwhelmed by this build at first, you know? Um, but it is kind of fun to have 70 damage reduced, 47 magic damage reduced, 30% fire absorb, poison length reduced by 75%. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. You don't even need, like, Raven Frost for the Cold Absorb or any... Like, you don't even need that stuff. You know, you don't need, like, a T-Gods either, it seems like, um, with how I have this set up. So, that's pretty cool, man. I, like, I think this is kind of sweet. So, all right. Keep going here. I'm, uh, like I said, slowly making my way. These guys are immune to fire, so I can't really hurt them with my firewall. And I don't have another attack, you know? Here we go. Let's stand right up here. Uh, I'm going to move up like this. I want them to follow me. I want them to attack me. All those guys are... Look at this. We're just standing here. Our mana is going down a bit, it looks like. We are taking quite a bit of damage to our energy shield. Here. Let's reposition. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like a different way to play, you know, where... I'm just trying to aggro them myself. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I can actually attack these guys. <laughs> here we go. Thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. A kite shield? Shall we check that? Oh, we can't. Um, okay, really quick. Let me go back to town. Don't really have any identity scrolls or anything. Hmm. Greetings. Yeah, this is a much chiller type of playthrough, isn't it? I'm just kind of like more calm, more chill. Just taking my time, you know? It's kind of how... Let's do this. Kind of how this build makes you feel. <laughs> you're like focused. And you're, and you're just moving slow. go. Okay. Forgot I had this, sorry. I could do some static field on some of these guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> that makes things go a little faster, doesn't it? Quilted armor. What's... Yeah, why did I forget about that? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like I forgot I even had that skill. So this, what's this, the gray form? Isn't this pretty rare? 5% life stolen per hit. Cold and fire. And 10 decks. Actually, <laughs> he would like probably do fine with that, right? Um, that's a pretty rare find, isn't it? That gray form. I, I thought it was, at least for how... Like, even though it's, like, low level. That's a pretty great low level item. Level 7. 5% lifesteal. Hmm. At level 7. Not that great. Actually, you don't do a lot of damage at that level, so I guess the lifesteal isn't that big a deal on that. But... Here we go. Now we're kind of moving a little bit more, aren't we? Yeah, once again, apologize that I'm, like, relearning this build. As I'm playing it right now. Okay. Let's 
Emilio's doing pretty well with this. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and once again, just reiterating, I would like to revisit this again, and when we're a little higher level, we're only level 80, and um, get Emilio, like, up to par, you know, like, get him some nice, um, some nicer equipment, and see if he can deal some better damage or something, and, uh, you know, like, probably a fortitude would be good on him, you know, just make him hit a little harder, it's probably all he'd really need, actually, just be a fortitude, maybe a better base for the insight, I did find an F, um, Force like an F Thresher, and I do have a 14 ED F Thresher that I could Larzik for five sockets and make an obedience in. You know, that that's if we could sacrifice not having insight. You know, uh, for the meditation aura. Yeah, this is kind of cool that you can just like get in there and just like tank. It's kind of sweet. Oh, I, did you notice I named her a mortal? Without mortal is what that means, you know. Um, okay. Yikes! All right, let's. I, I don't know how that's gonna go exactly. Um. Okay. We got him. And Emilio's. Wow! Look at the poison. The poison is hurting me so bad, and it's hurting him so bad. Misguided monster. Thanks. Thanks. Wow, that poison's crazy. Look at that. My character's trying so hard to not die from it. Wow, look at that. That's with 75% poison res and poison uh, and uh, poison length reduced by 75%. That's that's what's happening right now. That's crazy, isn't it? Look at that. It can't, like... Let's see if we do a bunch of potions. Can we keep up? It's, yeah. It kinda can. <laughs> Alright. So there's our book of skill. Um, I can't carry anymore. Still, it's still like won't let me. It's crazy. Did it find? No, it's still gone. Man, look at that. What's this assault helm? Nothing. Okay. Let's go back to town. I'm still, my my character's still trying so hard to not die from the poison. Yes. Uh, luckily, it can't kill you. Uh, yep. Okay. Gray form. Kind of cool. Kind of a rare find, I believe. And, um... There it is. We got a new skill. Um... I think I'm just gonna put another into... Fire Mastery for now. Just keep boosting the firewall damage. Anyway, so that's what I got so far for the Immortal Sorceress. Um, I know it's not, like, original. Like, I didn't come up with it or anything. It's been done a bunch. But it was really fun to build to try to find all the pieces, you know? All these different damage-reduced things. It's kind of crazy how it works out with Energy Shield. Uh, you know? Um, so anyway. That's it for now. I, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll revisit this when we have some other mm, gear options, I think, and some new levels. So, thanks for checking that one out. A little bit more chill chill vibe on this one, you know? All right, guys. See you later.